Draft was this weekend, Mike. All the grades are in. Now it's time for the real grades account. Our grades. What right. did we think about what happened? Definitive. Your overall observations of the NFL draft this weekend. I continue to be amazed at how media-driven the phenomenon of the NFL draft is. I really believe that, yeah, the public is very interested in this, and of course they're interested in what their own team is going to do, but I really think that there's an aspect of this that is driven by the media itself because the media itself gets to be the star here, gets True. to be the product. The product here is not NFL football. It's analysis and opinion about NFL football players, which is produced by the media. I think we're, we're feeding our own egos a little bit here. Well, I think you're right. It's also the, the TV time it takes place now. Now it starts at 4 in the afternoon Saturday. It used to be like 11 o'clock on Saturday. And then we'll switch from one network to the other. All this is sort of done around the network timing, what they can do for ratings. And it's funny, ESPN has sort of become so big and almost so arrogant with their coverage the NFL Network really did break down some good analysis. I watched more of that than I did uh, ESPN's coverage. But it is. It's become, there's less going on in sports at this time of year. Even though we have NBA and NHL playoffs, there are lesser sports than the, the, what, what they can get with the NFL. Sure. They make this into this huge media-driven weekend. I mean, this is, it's a draft. And you talk about the difference between, between ESPN and the NFL Network, which I don't even get the NFL Network, so I don't, I don't know exactly. But from everything you hear and you say, a good example of it is this, with ESPN is this competition between Todd McShay and Mel <laughs> Kuyper Jr. It's pretty entertaining, which, which, actually. Which is just this thing that is completely television-generated thing that, that's, I mean, think about how weird it is that that exists. Think about when we were kids, the way sports were right. was covered and talked about and watched. And, 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 and you know, like, like it's like pro wrestling between these two draft analysts. And what is going wrong? They here? get really upset at each other. Whereas NFL Network, Mike Maylock was their expert with the draft. They went right to him if they had a question about a player. They wanted a question from the coach's point of view. John Gruden handled that. Nobody else gave a view about what the coach was thinking because he was the coach. He's been in the draft room, he knows. When they wanted the running back of the player's perspective, Marshall Falk would give that. They had it all broken down. They also had uh, uh, Mariucci there, too, Steve Mariucci, to give the okay. coach's perspective. So they had it all covered, and that was the one that was the expert on that. Not some player reaching and trying to tell you what a coach would be thinking or a GM thinking, because they don't know. So I really thought that uh, the ESPN is just because they've become so big about what, everything they do, and it's all these productions, and yet... It's yeah. a take on the old Marshall McLuhan, the medium is the message. It's, it's, it's the media Ooh. covering itself, which is a very strange and interesting, if maybe a little depressing, phenomenon. Sounds like a future column for there you. There you go.